in a world that has put a large focus recently on the power of the individual, I define brilliance as collaboration and cooperation. As with most of these kind of adventures, part of it was accidental. And we found ourselves here one day when this place was just full of filing cabinets and old records. And just through being nice to the people who were in charge and saying, if we brought some of our friends down here and did a few little shows, would that be okay? And they said, yeah. My name's Matt Burt. I'm the director of communications at Vault Festival, which is a six week program of arts, theater, music, and comedy as the whole thing happens under the ground, which is a labyrinth of old tunnels that are owned by Network Rail underneath Waterloo Station. We have a selection of different venues in here, some of which are sort of dungeony and damp and kind of leaky, others are quite industrial and filled with pipes. What we like to have is lots of people who feel that they're part of the company. It's kind of a collective in that sense. There's three of us who work on it about eight months of the year for a shorter run-up period to it. That team grows to about a dozen. And then during the actual festival itself, we have anywhere between sort of like 20 and 30 people. It's quite tight, so we're here a lot, very tired. <laughs> we think we are helping people in a way that, you know, not many places can do. The hope for the companies that come here is they've got a safe space either to succeed really well, like critically, or to fail safely without getting in loads of trouble afterwards. And one of the things that allows is people to take risks. They're just good people and they create an amazing space in London every year that attracts so many people, which is fantastic. My name is Robin Steedman and I'm the founder of the Caravan Shorts at Vault Festival. We present 15 minute plays inside a caravan that seats up to eight people at a time. You get to be inside a space that is completely new and get a story that hopefully is also new. I love this concept, I love being inside here and I love inviting people inside. And if I can give them a, a great 15 minutes and then after, if they can continue to somewhere else, then my job's done. They've got to start somewhere and they've got to have the ideas. They've got to be able to express themselves and hopefully meet a lot of people. Because the other thing that's unique about Vault is it creates a vortex of creative, interesting people who are either working on shows or have ideas for shows. They're actors, just writers, designers, and they're all here in one place talking about stuff. We advance in every sense when technology changes. And in arts and theater, the impact that technology is having on both the way we communicate to people in the outside world and also the fundamental ways in which we develop and show work is fascinating. And we had a show in our first week called Silent Opera. Everything was conducted through wireless headphones. People walked around the different spaces and it allowed live opera singing and live opera orchestras to be piped directly into people's heads and let them experience an opera in a whole new way. And then on a very fundamental level, we couldn't do the Vault Festival without the technology that's arisen in the last few years. This is, this is actually a very valuable thing. Like, and just because we're tired and we don't have any money and the whole festival is always on the verge of financial collapse if not enough people come, like just like those things are not a good enough reason to stop it happening. So we've kind of redoubled our efforts to try and find a way to keep Vault going. The brilliance lies in the pursuit. And I have great respect for anyone who pursues their own potential. I define brilliance as collaboration and cooperation. And, and when I see that happening around the Vault Festival, that's when I'm most struck by the brilliance of the artists involved. Part of the beauty is also what you can give to the audience. That's all it is really, storytelling. In a little bumblebee of unexpectedness.